Hey guys, Josh back with another video, and today we are going to be doing a slightly different video format. Um, certainly on a topic we've, you know, discussed before, but, uh, you know, th this is going to be uh, a range construction quiz video. So um, I'm going to split this into two parts. So the first video will be three questions, and then later I'll re release the, the last two questions. But basically what, what we're going to do is just uh, I'm going to give you the prompt, um, give you the different answer choices, uh, give you a second to pause the video and go through the question yourself, and then uh, going to follow that with um, the simulation review. Um, well, I, I should say I'm going to go through all the questions first. Uh, you guys can write them down or pause the video, uh, write your answers down, and then after all the questions have been read off, I'll I'll dive into the uh, uh, the simulations and and my general thoughts on the questions. So let's dive right in. So first question, so these will all be small blind versus spot and three bat pot. Um, but I haven't recently discussed uh, river play a lot in three bat pods. So I think this will be constructive. Um, so villain opens on the button. We threw about the small blind, it calls. Uh, we bet half pot on five, five deuce, two spades. Villain calls. Uh, we So turn goes check, check, and then we have a decision on the river um, with all of these different combinations of hands. Uh, so this first answer option, not within range, all that means is there's one of these combos that doesn't get to the river in this line, either because it doesn't bet flop or it doesn't check turn or something like that. Um, so one of those combos would be that, and then I think the rest are pretty self-explanatory, but these are, these are one-to-one -one answers. Um, so every, uh, action on the river has exactly one, one of these combos assigned to it. Um, so I'll give you a second to pause the video and write this down. Okay. Uh, so this will be the check, turn check call line. Um, so same thing. You get the 10, 10, 4. We bet half pot, villain calls. We check the five turn, villain bets quarter pot into us. We call. And then we check and villain jams all in for um, just about two thirds of the pot. And again, um, we have six combos here. So when I list an answer choice or, or a prompt for a specific hand twice, it just means there's two of those combos that, that t uh, fit into that category. Okay, next question. So this is the bet check bet. Um, on a high run out. So nine eight three two spades. We bet two thirds pot. Villain calls. Uh, hero checks the six of hearts turn. Villain checks back. Then on the river we get the ace. Um, so we're going to have, you know, obviously on the on the ace we're going to have hands that want to do a myriad of, of different things. Um, so yeah, all right, let's get right into it. Okay, so start with this 5-5 five, five deuce first. Um, so yeah, we bet half pot on the flop. On these low paired boards, um, generally you're, you're going to see something like half pot as, as the standard size. Um, oh jeez, um, my volume's messing up a bit here. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so...
Yeah, where was I? Yeah, the five five deuce. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, again, half pot sort of standard on the on the two tone boards. Um. You know, you, you might see something slightly bigger. Um, like you might see a solver split like forty eight percent and like two thirds pot or something. But I, I mean, just just stick with a half pot. It's fine. Um, generally, the lower the paired board, the more the more betting you're gonna do um, for this half pot size. Um, and then the rainbow boards, you, you know, you're gonna bet even more often um, for reasons we talked about in a previous video. Uh, so. Yeah, we've got half pot, turn goes check check on the nine of diamonds. Um, so this is actually a, a relatively good card for out of position in the sense that in position isn't going to have many floats that contain a nine. Um, so when we bet half pot on the flop, we're folding out all this stuff that doesn't have a spade in it with a, you know, with a nine. Um, so, you know, like ace nine with a back door is continuing. Um, but aside from that, you know, as far as nine, top pair goes, uh, definitely going to have an advantage there. Um, however, you know, a lot of our ace high stuff is just going to be checking turn, especially given how often we're, we're betting flop. Um, so, yeah goes check check and then we get the three of diamonds river um so this will be a spot where if we do have basically so let's talk about the check back range here for imposition so on the turn um since since the nine is such a good card for out of position in the sense that um in position doesn't have much of it uh most of our nine x is, is just going to be betting um since if we check you know in position isn't going to put a ton of money in for us on the river um so you know if we have a nine we get a bricky river um you know we're, we're just trying to stack stack those pocket pairs um so for instance let's get like a three you know, and then if we have you know if we have a nine it's pretty much just worth worth uh, a stack um since in position doesn't have most of it they're uh you know they're not gonna like put their stack in very often with these low pairs so we'd rather just do that ourselves um and then a 10 is an even better example where um in position folds out a lot of their 10x on the flop uh, however the 10 starts to hit ranks of hands that we have a lot more often so like king 10 off ace 10 off um these hands don't or in position doesn't have either of these hands uh especially after half pot on the flop but um yeah so Let me see here. Yeah, we were talking about the nine of diamonds turn. Okay, then it goes check, check. Um, and we get the three river. So basically, if you have a nine, um, you know, you, you can just put your stack in. Um, and then if you have an over pair, you, your hand is worth your entire stack, is really what I'm trying to say. So like, you know, 98 is just going all in after imposition checks back um because they're not supposed to be checking back 9x because this is this is like top of range for imposition uh, not to mention that since we're betting all of our 9x because of our 9x advantage um out of position is now capped in that region so if imposition does have a nine they should they should just always bet um yeah so after it goes check check um, you know, nine is pretty much the nuts. Um, this is a spot I think a lot of people play way too cagey in the sense that, uh, 
they don't like they they understand how strong a nine is, but they don't make the connection that imposition is very gutted in nine x. Not to mention that uh, imposition should be betting their nine x. So, you know, you have to realize like whenever whenever you have a nine here, um, you have an extremely strong hand. Um, but people will just bet like two thirds pot here or something. Um, and it, it's just a very inappropriate size, um, given how strong your hand is. Um, cause we're really just like trying to stack these low pairs. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so regarding the specific combos, let's just go through one by one here. So, um, King 10, club, King 10 Club Heart is a combination that mostly just goes all in. It's either, either way, it's betting big, but mostly just going all in, um, as a bluff, obviously. Um, so I'll give you guys a second to pause and think about why this combo might be so good as as a bluff. So what you'll also notice is that all of the King-10 functions uh, very well as a bluff here. Um, and then you know, generally, generally not having hands that that block folds is good. So, um, well, that yeah, I, okay, I lied. Not all of the king ten is is a great bluff. It like the the king ten with the king of spades isn't great because you want them to fold king queen with a spade. And yeah, like the king queen of spades um, that get here most often in this region. Um, but the the big thing about having a king and a ten here is that a king unblocks these folds, like the ace queen off, ace jack off folds um, that that get here super frequently because the, the like those hands are are really high density in the, in the checkback range. Um, so having a king that doesn't have a queen or a jack in it unblocking these ace queen off, ace jack off, well, all ace queen and ace jack folds, um, it is good. Uh, and then additionally, the 10 blocks pocket tens. Um, so, and, and not to mention that the 10 also unblocks floats that, that fold the river. So, um, it's really that we have a king and a ten in our hand, and we want to unblock ace queen off and ace jack off that fold. Um, so that's what that's what makes that hand you know special in that way. Um, yeah, and then so if you have well, king ten of spades is is the hand that doesn't get here. So the this hand is not within range. Um, so I'll give you a second to think about why uh, King-10 would not be taking this turn line. So really, I mean, the, the big reason is that when in position does have a 9, it's usually going to be when they have 9x of spades, right? So um, like the, the, the spade combos are on a card like this are, are going to be um, sort of premiums um, to use as turn bluffs. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's just going to be always betting turn. Okay, and then let's see. So Jack Nine of Clubs was the, the next one. Um, so again, we, we talked about how strong a nine is, um, 
So Jack Nine Clubs is like the the nine X that that gets here on the river um, and rips it in. Um, so let's just take a look at why. Because um, so Jack Nine of Spades always betting, but Jack Nine of Clubs can um, can make some checks. Uh, so, if, well, our EV really comes from, uh, see if we, well, if we check and they have bet into us, yeah, we're just, we're just raising, um, so we, it, it looks like we probably get bet into more often when we have clubs, which definitely seems to be the case. Um, like when we have Jack nine of spades, imposition isn't going to have nearly as many bluffs to bet into us with, um, because we we block we block their bluffs with the with the jack of spades, but not nearly as many bluffs with uh, the jack of clubs. So. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and then, so on the river, we have uh, two combos of queens. So I'll give you a second to think about why queens, because uh, kings never gets the river in this turn check line. So maybe take, and jack's very low frequency. So maybe take a second to consider why uh, queens is checking turn so often. Yeah, so on the turn, um, Queens has a couple things going for it as check. The, the real big one is that Ace-Queen off, Ace-Queen suited are the, the combos of hands that, um, you know, always flip-flop and then check back turn um, very often. Um, you can see, like, Ace-Jack is, is starting to bet, um, but Ace-Queen just way too good. Uh, so when you have queens, you block their checkbacks, so you can get bet into more often, and uh, you know, check rip. So um, queens are going to take like especially on lower boards. Queens are going to be the you know the overpair you trap. Um, see if it, if it was like a nine of clubs. Yeah, so if you had like queen queen heart diamond that double unblocked bluffs and then block their checkbacks that would be like a primo hand um to to trap turn with um but then on the river similar thing going on we still we still block uh we still block their checkbacks with ace queen um but there's some suit magic going on here um so yeah, I don't know. There, there's no combo pure taking an action. Um, I don't know if I was looking at a different river or something. Um, but the the point I was really getting at is that, um, you know, you'll notice that queens with, um, well, I'll put it like this. So when we check, there's going to be combos of something like king queen king jack that get here that that bluff but you have to think about which combos those are so like um if we check in positions going to check back something like king queen of spades because when you have two spades in your hand you unblock a lot more of the air that out of position has um so you have a lot more showdown um However, if imposition has clubs, it's just a much better uh, candidate to use because out of position is going to like bet flop check turn a lot more often with like spade hands because we're not range betting the flop. So we're, you know, out of position is going to be betting more often with spades. Um, so like imposition is just going to check down and try to show down king queen of spades, but they're going to bluff king queen of clubs. 
So there's a slight preference for, for clubs here with the queens, but th this isn't too much of a, a concern. I, I, I would just tend to think about, um, like, if I have relevant suits to their bluffs, um, like, the like both the spades and the clubs are, are pretty relevant. I, I think most players in game would, would play king-queen of spades and king-queen of clubs very similarly on the river when check two here. So um, that that's what would be going through my mind. So... If I had like queen queen spade club, I would just uh, always bet that hand. And if I had like diamond heart, you know, uh, I would be trapping that hand a lot. But just the just the fact that you block the ace queen checkbacks is is pretty huge. So you have to um, you have to consider consider that when um, consider those factors with with queens here. Uh, okay. Um, so then the last answer choice is seven, seven spade diamond. Um, th this is just going for, for a non-all-in value bet. Um, it's not, it's not worth all-in, um, just because in position, uh, you know, can, can have eights or, or a trap with a five or, or the rivered boat. Um, but with this bet, you're really just trying to get value from, from like sixes, fours, uh, some ace high. Um, so. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next question. Okay, so we have nine eight three two tone. Again, just ran this with one two thirds flop size. Um, get called the five of diamonds turn. Um, so on a brick, you know, a, a brick this low, we're we're going to be using a relatively polar turn size. Um, So, well, actually, oh, this is for question three. I'm sorry. So, let me let me pull up the the ten ten four. Um, pause the video for a second, but I I realized I I wanted to slightly reiterate that with the sevens value bet on the end, um might think that's a tad thin, but remember that we established that imposition isn't checking back a nine on the turn. So that's that's really what fuels that that chunky value bet size for something like sevens. Um okay so ten ten four um half pot call let's see and we got the six of hearts or I'm sorry the five of diamonds um and then we get Bet in two for this size. Um, so the betting range, this good 10x, some of this lower stuff, uh, checking a bit more. Um, that will be relevant to this question. Um, so consider, consider what's going on with those hands. Um, goes check, check, or I'm sorry, check, bet, call, uh, and then you know, on the turn facing a bet where, you know, pure raising um, Jackson plus and then or over pairs. Um, and then we get the deuce of hearts on the river. Uh, and then we check and, and this is their value jam range. So it's, it's eight, eight plus is, is the value threshold here. Um, so we'll start with, we'll start top down. So um, so you'll see that like ten, these 10, nine, like we saw earlier, the 10, nine, 10, eight are the ones trapping. Um, so the reason, um, something like 10, nine, 10, eight are, are trapping so much more often than the better 10 X, uh, is because we unblock bluffs. So consider that, you know, 
on this board, um, you know, the the prime like our EV from check calling this turn as opposed to check raising comes from uh, imposition bluffing into us on the river. So so how I like to explain this is once we make the decision to just call the turn. Um, you know, we're not going to be donking many rivers. We might donk like an ace river or something, maybe a king, but um, generally on, on most rivers, our EV comes strictly from our opponent betting into us when uh, when we're trapping, that is, you know, if we're trapping aces or, or a 10. Um, so we have to consider, you know, what hands are they bluffing? Well, on this flop, um, you know, like their their spades and like king queen of clubs, um, you know, king jack of clubs, king jack of spades, king nine of spades. Um, these hands are going to be a lot of imposition bluffs, like king higher or worse floats on the flop. So when we have uh, something like ten nine, we unblock all of those hands. Um, Yeah, and then just kind of interesting with the nine a. It it'll make more sense once I show you the river. But um, so we check call, get the deuce of hearts river, and then imposition is going to be bluffing. Well, looks like looks like spades give up, but I mean a lot of this ace jack off, king queen off. Um, Queen Jack Spades, all, all these hands are bluffing. Um, the the King Jack High floats. Um, Ace Jack that isn't Spades, and then the. You know this stuff, but all the all this stuff with a a nine in it. Um, is is pure bluffing for imposition on the river, uh, but all of those hands are Spade combos. So if we have ten nine of Hearts, we unblock all of these all of these bluffs. Like the the jack nine, queen nine, king nine of spades. So, um, having like ten nine of hearts is pretty good for unblocking bluffs. Um, yeah, and then let's see the other combos. Okay, so yeah, qu queen ten of hearts. Is not in range because we're we're pure raising that on the turn. Um, and then okay, king king spade diamond. Um, well, that's also not within range, so we're we're pure raising like this good ten x and over bears on the turn. Um, so. Uh, on on a paired board, especially on the ten, um, you know you can you can get stacks in here with with these over pairs. So, uh, one one thing to note is that, um, it, if the board pair was higher, if it was like queen queen four or five, this would this strategy w would look different just because imposition has so much more queen x, just from pre flop. So. Um, but like the, the reason we're doing this is because imposition doesn't have a bunch of offsuit 10 X. Um, so just, uh, just a note there. Um, and then seven, seven spade diamonds. So think about, uh, Like if we have two sevens in our hand, um, it is especially with the seven of spades, is that good or bad? Um, so generally the seven of spades is bad, um, right? It, it's not it's not ideal. Uh, just blocking blocking these lower bluffs, um, and we also don't block any value. 
Uh, so imposition's value threshold is, is eight plus. Um, so we have no blockers to that, no blockers to 10X. Um, and we, like the seven spades pretty much exclusive, exclusively blocks bluffs. Um, but you can see like sevens without the spade, pure calling. Uh, it's just the fact that when we have the seven of spades, you know, the, the hands that imposition has a seven with, we purely block their bluffs in this region if we have the seven of spades, um, which is which is relevant. Um, especially considering these are combo draws on the turn. Um, Okay, and then ace four of clubs. So we do get here with ace four of clubs. So you might consider, is the ace good? Is the four good? Well, so here's the imposition value range, or the betting range. So four is obviously taking this line, um, you know, quite often, betting the turn quite often. Uh, and then imposition isn't bluffing, um, so yeah, it looks indifferent, but the main thing is just that imposition's bluffing ace jack of clubs, ace nine of clubs, um, so we do block those bluffs in addition to some of the ace jack a little bit of the ace jack uh, but it's really just like this lower club combo stuff that uh, we would rather unblock um, but for that reason clubs is the worst uh variety of the ace four similar thing going on with ace five like spades and clubs are bad Cards are good. Um, yeah, and, and not to mention that uh, Ace Four of Clubs uh, does not block ten x because the ten of clubs is on the board, uh, and imposition doesn't have Ace Ten on. So that's the idea there. And then um, pocket sixes. So sixes, no spades. Similar thing going on with sevens. Um, so. Six is generally just a better call in general than sevens because uh, imposition has more it has more bluffs with a seven in it than a six in it. Um, because sevens blocks seven six and eight seven, but six is just blocks seven six. Um, that bluffs so slightly better on blockers, but you still have the spade in your hand so. Slightly bad. So this one's this one's just indifferent. Um, okay, let's move on to the last question. Okay, so we have 983, single two-third size on the flop. Uh, and then we get the let's see, six of hearts turn. Um, so this will be a turn where it, it's uh, wet enough such that um, you'll start to see jams, um, especially on a two-tone board. Um, so these lower over pairs, um, specifically without a spade in them. So, you know, if you have if you have a spade in your hand, you, you have a lot more incentive to play a bit more cagey and, and let your opponent do more of the betting. Um, just because you don't need protection as much protection from a flush. Um, but then you'll see like these higher over pairs. Um, they don't need nearly as much protection in general. So, um, you know, once you get up to like kings and aces, um, well, you might think like, why are we betting well, aces? Kind of indifferent across the board, but king specifically with a spade like betting more and the reason that is is because when you have the spade in your hand 
you block more bluffs. So what's key to note here is that um, these lower overpairs, um, they don't block as many bluffs because imposition is going to have more uh, king x suited that bluffs turn than queen x or jack x just because of preflop. Um, like imposition has king queen off with a spade, but they don't have king jack off. So when you have kings and you have a spade in your hand, uh, you're not going to get bet into as often. So you'd rather just bet yourself. Um, yeah, so turn goes check check here and then we get the ace river. Um, so on this ace river, you know, you have this subset of hands that is worth their stack, but um, generally, you know, just going to be betting very small. Um, the, the reason we're betting so small with a lot of our ace axes is because uh, imposition has quite a bit of ace, ace x. Uh, like, if they check back turn, remember that, like, their, their turn checkbacks are going to be disproportionately dense in ace x, just because of their showdown value. Um, so on the ace river, you know, in the in the bet check bet especially, um, going to be using a small size, um, but once you get up to like ace king, it's it's worth putting in a large bet. It's more just um, in position has a ton of ace x. So if you have a, if you have an ace that blocks their ace x, uh, you know you're you're generally going to want to be sizing down. Um, so we can we can start with the ace king off combos actually. Uh, so the first combo we have is ace king heart spade, um, and then the other one is ace king heart diamond. Uh, so ace king heart spade. We're basically just, you know, we're we're just always going all. So I'll give you a second to think about why. This ace king with a spade uh, is is particularly favorable to just go all in yourself because the uh, you have to consider if I have a different suit in my hand, uh, there there must be some motive to to take a different line, right? Um, either you unblock their bluffs. So you'd rather just like bet smaller so they can raise, or um, you block their ace x. So you'd rather bet smaller or trap or whatever, or you know block their bluffs, all that stuff. So take a second to think about it. Yeah. So the idea here is that when you have the king of spades, um, well, first of all, you unblock their nine x, right? Um, which even if you go all in, they're, they're gonna have to call a nine sometimes. Um, so you unblock king nine, that's gonna call sometimes. Um, and then when you have, so, so the big thing is that when you block, you have to consider what imposition is going to raise for value with, uh, which you know here would largely be ace queen. Um, so, if you unblock ace queen, you know, you have slightly more incentive to uh, do some trapping or bet small, um, which is the reason that ace king with the ace of spades is doing a lot of trapping and betting small. Um, because, well, well, actually with that combo, you block more ace x, so um, you just block their calls, really. Um, and then, yeah, if you have, uh, like the ace of clubs, um, similar thing going on there. Yeah, so, so I guess this, in this specific configuration, it's more about the ace, like with ace king, it's, it's more about the ace, right? Because the, the king isn't, isn't really relevant to their ace x, right? Because they don't have ace king. So you'd rather just think about 
do I block holes or, or whatever, which with the ace, ace of spades you do because they're going to be floating more ace queen off, ace jack off with a spade on the flop and then checking back turn and hitting a pair. So so when you have the ace of spades, you, you block more calls. Um, so you don't have nearly as much incentive to go all in. Um, same thing going on with the, with the ace of clubs because they have ace queen of clubs more often than others. Um, yeah, so that's sort of the idea there, and then uh, see that. Well, the other the other combo we were discussing was Ace of Hearts, King of Diamonds. Oh, I see. Okay, I see where I was going. Yeah, so when you have the King of Spades, you unblock you unblock the Nine X, which I I think I mentioned that, but that's that's really the idea there. Um, not to mention that when you have the king of spades, you block their bluffs. So if you check, they're not going to bluff into you nearly as often with like king x of, of spades or like king queen off with spade. Um, so that's the, the idea with those. And then um, ace queen of spades is, is another one. Uh, so, so this combo... Yeah, so think about why spades, why the queen of spades might be more incentivized to trap the river. Um, so what I would suspect, let's let's take a look at the response versus check. Um, so in position is going to be bluffing. Uh, queen 10, jack 10. However, the spade combos of these hands are going to bet turn a lot more often. Uh, it looks like. Well, they don't, they don't get here as often. Oh, oh, because they rip flop. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, so so these combo draws are, are ripping flop for imposition at a decent clip. So, um, you know, they don't, they don't get to the river as often with them. Um, so when you have the queen of spades, you unblock the, you know, the other suit combos of uh, queen 10, for example, uh, that, you know, like the hearts, clubs, diamonds, you unblock all of those that get to the river here more often than queen 10 of spades. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, so it, but that's that's also specific to this board, right? So the board was like nine seven deuce two spades, queen ten of spades isn't going to be ripping flop nearly as often. So, um, so then on this run out, the spade the queen of spades would be uh, a a bit more neutral, maybe even slightly bad because it's slightly bad to trap. I mean, um because you block like king queen off with a spade or something um so then in that scenario i would say okay well uh yeah i, I would just lean towards trapping more um or, or not trapping but but betting small if that makes sense um okay and then King Queen of Hearts. Uh, yeah, so so we're just giving this hand up. Um, so when so first of all, King Queen isn't totally dead as far as showdown goes. You still beat some King High that that imposition is going to check back. Um, the occasional King Ten, King Jack sometimes. Um, certainly not great equity here but especially on the ace but uh, the, the the big thing is that a king is not good to bluff this river because in position doesn't have ace king so you'd rather just use like queen jack queen 10 that actually blocks ace x um because when you have a queen in your hand you block all those ace queen off and ace queen suited combos so you know on on the river on the ace river it's much better to have a queen um, 
and then queen ten of clubs in this line. Yeah, mostly just going all in for for that exact reason. Um, yeah, you just want a queen in her hand on the ace to bluff, and then jack jack heart diamond. So see this combo never gets to the river. That's because you know this turn spot we were talking about earlier just always rips turn uh, without the without the suit protection, um, and then. So, so the jack-jack combos we get here with are just jack-spade, jack-of-spades combos. Um, yeah, these hands are checking. Um, and then queens. So, you, so again, you might consider why something like queens is able to block river, but jacks is not. Um, so the, the real reason is just that when you have queens, you block ace-queen off. Um, so, you know, if you're if you're considering a very thin value bet, uh, you, you have to consider, like, if they don't have an ace, so like in this spot, if they don't have an ace, is my hand worth betting? Um, so queens, I would say definitely. Uh, and then you have to consider, okay, well, how much ASEX do they have? And if they have a very specific region of ASEX, do I have blockers to that? And so so that's the real reason Queens is Queens is betting here. Because we do get a little bit of thin value, but if we uh, don't block any of the ASEX he has, uh, we, we might just be value cutting ourselves. Um, yeah. Okay. And Queens, or Kings is, is kind of interesting here. Uh, I would imagine, I mean, my, my intuition would be that Kings with the spade would be a better bet on the river, just unblocking 9x. Um, let's look at the, the EV difference here. Um, So, so it'll, they all look about the same in terms of expectation gained by betting. Um, okay. All right. Well, that's uh, pretty much what I have for you guys today. But um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, again, please like and subscribe. Uh, you guys have been, do been doing a tremendous job on that end. Um, would love for you guys to keep that up. Uh, like and su subscribe and, and drop a comment, uh, especially if you have any questions. You know, you guys know by this point that I'm, I'm pretty liberal with, um, you know, answering questions and, and whatever. So, uh, but thanks for watching.